Hi guys and welcome to one of my best possible squad builder by myself Bates and 87. We're not covering many big nations or leagues this week because team of the year does drop on Monday. So we're avoiding that this weekend and we're doing some which I wanted to do for a long time. Haven't got round to it, so we're finally going to try out some of these decent high-rated players. So today we are doing Uruguay. We, this is a team which does feature a lot of high-rated players, but then a lot of mediocre players as well. But it is still very good for some of the players you can take out of the team, and maybe you even do rock with them in your current teams. Now, if you guys do want the MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If you're trying to hit up 5,000 likes, that would be absolutely brilliant. And subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel already. So, with that said, guys, with the Uruguay team, it has got one of the highest rated goalkeepers uh, on the game which isn't actually a stand uh, which isn't a, an inform or a legend either and that is Muslera. Uh, coming at Galatasaray I actually don't mind in this this FIFA uh, very hard to hybridize mainly because of the league nation and uh, and club he plays for um, and the lack of players in in them certain categories but we do actually have a decent Uruguayan defender and that is Caser actually we have two I lied to you we got two we got Caseras and then next to him we have third inform Gordine as well the 88 rate card um very very nice uh center back pairing and uh, no complaints from at all Gordino overused in the draft Caceres I uh, used in my road to glory if you guys watched that as well uh, very very good center back on the right back position, guys, we do have Pereira, um, Pereira from uh, Porto. Very, very nice card. And we actually do feature a transferred card in this squad builder, guys, as well, which you'll see in a second. In the left back position, we have Pereira again, but a different guy this time around. He actually plays in the Argentinian League. Um, very standard left back. Most of you guys will have packed him, uh, discarded him as well. He's not that bad, but not that good either. And it's the same with a majority of these players, which we're about to see in the team in a minute. So we start off with the transfer player, guys, which is Sanchez. There's two versions of him on Ultimate Team currently. Sanchez at the uh, Monte Monterio. I don't know what club. What club's that? I don't know how to say it. I need to learn how to say it. It is, and I've gone to... Uh, Monteri, Monteri, um, the Mexican League team, and he's got a transfer card there now. We then move over to the middle CMs, which are both centre attacking midfielders converted down to CMs. The first one being um, Lodero uh, from obviously Boca, um, getting a strong link to Tevez if you wanted to use him. And then on the left hand side, we do go Ramirez from Southampton. Very nice card, non rare as well. I'm not really a fan of the non rare cards this year, they look worse than previous, and uh, still don't like using them. On the left side, we finish off with the last non rare player of the team, guys, which is Castro. Um, actually not a bad card. A lot of people have said he's actually going to be removed from packs or potentially he's transferring that, um, out to a team which is an ultimate team. Um, so we've got Castro, three games, three goals, scored with 81 pace, three star skills, three star weak foot and then Sociedad as well. I have got him drafted a few times. And now in this formation, um, it's a formation we don't really use but it's nice to be able to do it with the highest rated team. We finish off with two fucking godsend of a strikers. On the left hand side we go with Cavani. Now Cavani is ridiculous. I used him at the start of FIFA. Um, a good target man. Good for linking up with Ibrahimovic. Clinical finisher as well. And a good all round cheap player as well if you guys want to pick him up. If we look on look at the transfer market now of how much Cavani does go for. Um, he goes for just over, just under 2k actually. Not a bad purchase. You can pick him up for about 1k during the market crash. It's all 1.7 open bid there. Um, a very nice card and really enjoy him. But unfortunately in this team he is overshadowed he's overshadowed by a 94 rated man of the match Suarez unfortunately won't be getting a team of the year card because of the fact that the forwards have already decided in the Ballon d'Or and that is Messi, Ronaldo and Suarez so um, no Messi, Ronaldo and Neymar what I mean about Suarez in the team um, so the team looks pretty mediocre apart from obviously the four players which I would say Gordian, Caceres um, Suarez and Cavani not a bad pairing and a really enjoyable team to use so if you guys have enjoyed this video so far leave a like rate and subscribe if you're not, feel free to leave some comments down below of some more teams we can do in the future. Um, and especially with Team of the Year coming around the corner as well, we could revisit some already. And uh, really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. If you have, like, rate, and subscribe. And let's go and get into highlights we did manage to get with the best possible Uruguay team. So, with this team, guys, wouldn't recommend playing competitive with it, i.e., playing in tournaments or even playing seasons or anything else like that. Now, I play online single matches with the uh, teams themselves. Um, the players I would take into a strong team, though, Suarez, Cavani. Vanny would definitely take them to in Caceres, Gordian as well, and Muslera, but then again, I did mention about Muslera, and that is his uh, hybrid connections with the player. Um, but when it comes to the non-rare players, if you guys are looking for some cheap alternatives, I don't even know why you would play with these types of players, but obviously we get to try them out. I wouldn't use them 
any other time, uh, but mainly because of the best possibles we do after after use them and uh, test them out. But definitely Suarez, guys. Man, I'm at Suarez. He's a 10 out of 10 player. I keep saying it all the time. He's one of the best, if not the best, striker on the game. Inside the area, he's so clinical and uh, got a decent shot from outside the area as well. Four-star skills and seems to pop up and also has an amazing free kick. If you guys are in the stream... Um, trying to think what day it was. We were streaming one day and we scored an amazing free kick with Suarez from like 40 yards or something and it just pinged in and he definitely has the best free kick takers in this team as well. But Cavani is one of them players which not a lot of people like to go near. I don't know why. This goal was absolutely ridiculous as well. A nice brilliant finesse shot from outside the area. He's got a decent long shot on him as well. Decent in the area. Decent header. Decent dribbling and wins a lot of penalties for me and that's one of the reasons why I'll always like Cavani. This year he's been very good especially when I started my addiction towards Ibrahimovic. Obviously I put Cavani next to him and uh, tore shit to bits at the start of FIFA but then moving away from a 3-5-2 formation um, I haven't gone near him again I haven't gone near Ebra either which is a little bit annoying but I'll have to wait and see if that does change in the coming FIFAs um, but the right wing and le well the right mid and left mid players not that bad um, very low rated same with Ca actually I really like Castro and I really liked um, who else was the other guy I liked I liked both right back and left back they were pretty tidy and Muslera did uh, save some decent chances for us but then again um, when you got the rest of the players in front of you you're going to struggle against very strong teams which did happen to us um, but yeah definitely recommend picking up a normal Suarez during the team of the year crash Cavani as well you can probably get him for around 700 coins um, dependent on uh, when you do get it uh, dependent on when you do uh, go for him like if you're in lightning rounds guys take advantage and get try and get him then and uh, Caceres is a very good centre back for the uh, Serie A teams which I presume a majority of you guys do have so that's been the best possible Uruguay team guys probably won't revisit it now until um, after team of the season depending on what happens there imagine Team of Season Suarez, that'll be pretty ridiculous and something to look forward to if you guys um, do enjoy using Suarez. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have a like it, we very much appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, and we'll be back um, another day with another video for you guys to hopefully enjoy.